वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेवेंथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स सेमिस्टर वन फिफ्थ चैप्टर ट्रायंगल्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ साइड्स ऑफ ए ट्रायंगल एक्सरसाइज 5.4 पॉइंट फोर दि प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ साइड्स ऑफ ए ट्रायंगल मेजर दि लेंथ ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ ट्रायंगल ए बी सी यूजिंग स्केल एंड फिल द फॉलोइंग टेबल वी फाउंड दैट Using scale, the length of AB is 2.5 centimeters, and length of BC is 2 centimeters, and length of AC is 3 centimeters. Now write the same in the table. Now, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 centimeters. So BC plus CA is 5 centimeters. Now, 3 plus 2.5 is equal to 5.5 centimeters. So CA plus AB is equal to 5.5 centimeters. Now 2.5 plus 2 is equal to 4.5 centimeters. So AB plus BC is 4.5 centimeters. Now observe that 5 is greater than 2.5 centimeters. So we can say that BC plus CA is greater than AB. So it is true. Now also observe that 5.5 centimeters is greater than 2 centimeters. So we can say that CA plus AB is greater than BC. It is also a true statement. Now, 4.5 centimeters is greater than 3 centimeters. So we can say that AB plus BC is greater than CA. It is also a true statement. So from the above table, we can conclude that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Now let us take the same measurements of the previous activity and note the results as given below in the below table. In triangle ABC, length of AB is equal to 2.5 centimeters, BC is equal to 2 centimeters, CA is equal to 3 centimeters. Now let us take the difference of the lengths. 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 centimeter. So BC minus CA is minus 1 centimeter. Now 3 minus 2.5 gives 0.5 centimeters. So CA minus AB gives 0.5 centimeters. Now 2.5 minus 2 gives 0.5 centimeters. So AB minus BC is equal to 0.5 centimeters. Now observe that minus 1 is less than 2.5. So we can say that BC minus CA is less than AB. So the statement is true. Now observe that 0.5 is less than 2. So CA minus AB is less than BC. It is also a true statement. Now 0.5 is less than 3 centimeters. So we can say that AB minus BC is less than CA. It is also a true statement. So from the above table, we can conclude that. The difference of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is less than the length of the third side. Now let us do an activity. Let us take two triangles, triangle ABC, triangle PQR. Now fill the following table as per measurements given in the above triangles. In triangle ABC, first take angles. Angle A is 59 degrees. Angle B is equal to 76 degrees. Angle C is 45 degrees. Now length of the sides AB is equal to 4.1 centimeters, BC is equal to 5.7 centimeters, and AC is equal to 6 centimeters. Now observe that the smallest angle is 45 degrees, and exactly opposite to it, the smallest side is AB 4.1 centimeters. The biggest angle is 76 degrees. Exactly opposite to that, the longest side. AC is equal to six centimeters. Now, in triangle PQR, let us write the angles. Angle P is forty-one degrees. Angle Q is one hundred eleven degrees. Angle R is twenty-eight degrees. And let us write the length of the sides. PQ is equal to three centimeters. QR is equal to five centimeters. And PR is equal to seven centimeters. Now, observe that. The smallest angle is angle R, 28 degrees, and exactly opposite to that, the shortest side is PQ, 3 centimeters. Now observe that the biggest angle is angle Q, 111 degrees, and exactly opposite to that, the longest side is 
PR that is equal to 7 centimeters. From the last four columns in the above table, we can conclude that in any triangle, the opposite side to the bigger angle is bigger than the other two sides. In any triangle, the opposite side to the smallest angle is smaller than the other two sides. Now let us do another activity. Triangle LMN is an isosceles triangle. That means it has two equal sides. LM, LN. Both are equal to 5 cm. Now observe the angles exactly opposite to that. Uh, they are angle M, angle N. Both are equal to 53 degrees. Now let us take uh, another triangle. Triangle DEF is also an isosceles triangle in which uh, we observe two equal angles. Angle E, angle F. Both are equal to 27 degrees. Now observe the sides opposite to the angles are of equal length. That is DE and DF both are equal to 4 centimeters. Now we can conclude that the angles which are opposite to equal sides are also equal. Similarly, the sides which are opposite to equal angles are also equal. Now let us think, what are the measurements of angles of an equilateral triangle? Equi means equal to, tri means three angles. So three equal angles. So we can say that the angles of equilateral triangle are 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. Now let us do exercise 5.4. First problem, two sides of a triangle are 5 cm and 4 cm respectively. Write any three possible measurements that shoot for the third side. Solution, difference of two sides is less than the third side which is less than sum of the two sides. Let us take 5, 4 are the two sides, then it is less than third side and it is less than 5, 4. First, uh, difference means uh, right minus, the sum indicates plus. So, 5 minus 4 means it is equal to 1 and uh, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So, it shows that the third side should lie in between 1 and 9. So, possible measurements of the third side in centimeters are 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm, 7 cm or 8 cm. Now let us do second problem. The lengths of the line segments are 3 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm and 9 cm. Number 1. From the above measurements, which group of the line segments can form a triangle? Number 2. Which group of line segments cannot form a triangle? Give the reason. Solution. Let us take case 1, 3, 5, 6 are the 3 measurements. We observe that 3 plus 5 is greater than 6 and 5 plus 6 is greater than 3, 3 plus 6 is greater than 5. So we can say that the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side of the triangle. So we can say that the line segments 3, 5, 6 form a triangle. Now let us take case 2, 5, 6, 9. Observe that 5 plus 6 is greater than 9, 6 plus 9 is greater than 5 and 5 plus 9 is greater than 6. That is, sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. So we can say that the line segments 5, 6, 9 can form a triangle. Now let us take case 3. Take 3, 6 and 9. Observe that 3 plus 6 is not greater than 9. 6 plus 9 is greater than 3 and 3 plus 9 greater than 6. So we can say that sum of any two sides is not greater than the third side because 3 plus 6 is not greater than 9. So the line segments 3, 6, 9 do not form a triangle. So we can say that the line segments 3, 5, 6, 5, 6, 9 can form a triangle but the line segments 3, 6, 9 do not form a triangle. 
Now number 3. Find the value of x in the following triangles. 1, 2. Solution 1. In triangle PEN, observe that the sides PE and PN are equal of length 4 cm. Angles which are opposite to equal sides are equal. So from the figure we can say that angle N is equal to X that is equal to 65 degrees. Now let us see the second figure. Solution 2. In triangle BGA, observe that angle A, angle B both are equal to 56 degrees. The sides which are opposite to equal angles are also equal. So the side BG is equal to X which is equal to 4.3 centimeters. Now fourth problem. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC. If angle A is equal to 80 degrees, then find angle B and angle C. Solution. Draw triangle ABC. Now, observe that AB is equal to AC. Strike off one line on both equal sides showing the equality. And angle A is 80 degrees. Given that AB is equal to AC, then the angles which are opposite to equal sides are equal. So, angle B is equal to angle C. We do not know. Let it be X say. We know that sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So, A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. A is 80 degrees. And B and C are X. So, X plus X is equal to 180 degrees. So, 80 degrees plus 2X is equal to 180 degrees. Then 2X is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. So, 2X is equal to 100 degrees. So, then X is equal to 100 by 2 on simplification by 2 to 50 times. That is equal to 50 degrees. So, the unknown angle, angle B, angle C is X which is equal to 50 degrees. Now, fifth problem. Find the values of X in each of the adjacent triangles. Solution 1. Observe that in triangle PQR, the sides PQ and QR both are of equal length shown by its traces on the sides which implies angle R is equal to angle P is equal to 53 degrees because angles which are opposite to equal sides are equal. Now we know that sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So P plus Q plus R is equal to 180 degrees. So P is 53 degrees, Q, X and R 53 degrees that is equal to 180 degrees. So, x plus 106 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So, x is equal to 180 degrees minus 106 degrees. So, x is equal to 74 degrees. Because 180 minus 106 gives 74 degrees. Now, let us see the second figure. Solution 2. In triangle LMN, observe that the sides LM and LN both are of equal length shown by its traces on the sides which implies angle m is equal to angle n is equal to let x say because angles which are opposite to equal sides are equal now by exterior angle property in a triangle angle m plus angle n is equal to 110 degrees because 110 degrees is the exterior angle now x plus x is equal to 110 degrees so, 2x is equal to 110 degrees. Now, x is equal to 110 degrees by 2 on simplification by 2 to 55 times. So, the angle x is equal to 55 degrees. Now, sixth question. Which of the following statements are true in the following diagram? 1, 2, 3, 4. Solution. Observe that in triangle TOY, the third angle, angle T is equal to 180 degrees minus sum of the remaining angles that is 90 degrees plus 50 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees because 90 plus 50 gives 140 degrees which gives 40 degrees because 180 minus 140 gives 40 degrees. 
it is the smallest angle angle t is 40 degrees now observe that the angle 40 degrees is less than 50 degrees and it is less than 90 degrees which implies oy is less than ot is less than ty because smaller is the length of the side opposite to small angle bigger is the length of the side opposite to the bigger angle so here the bigger side is the hypotenuse which is opposite to 90 degrees now observe that oy is less than ot so the first statement is true now observe that ot is less than ty or it can be written as a ty is greater than ot so the second statement is false now observe that 40 degrees is less than 50 degrees it can also be written as 50 degrees is greater than 40 degrees so angle y less than angle t the statement is false now observe that ty is a hypotenuse so it is the biggest side so oy is less than ty but the statement ty is less than oy is false so observe that 40 degrees less than 50 degrees is less than 90 degrees implies oy is less than ot is less than ty thanks for watching video don't forget to subscribe